Hi, I'm Sajid Ali and today I'm going to be talking to you about the business of gold recovery from e-waste. I'm in this line since 1980 and those days actually nobody believed that you could recover gold from electronic circuit boards. But now the time has changed and there is a lot of awareness among people uh, about this electronic waste business and a lot of people want to go into this line and make money. I want to share my experience with you, uh, those of you who are interested in this line. You can, I mean, can start it with uh, small capital. Small capital means uh, 2000 US dollars. You can start it with 2000 US dollars and make money. I mean, Rome was not built within a day, so you won't be able to make millions uh, in a day. But gradually, if you do, if you follow it systematically, I can assure you, you'll be a rich man one day. So, uh, I mean, uh, when we start a business, the important facts that we need to take into account are like the profitability, the availability of the raw material, the um, in basic investment and uh, many more things. But we would like to talk about few things here. Like as far as the availability of the material, e-waste scrap is concerned, that's too much. I'll give an example. Suppose you buy a mobile phone today and next month, you find another better version of this. You would want to own that and you wouldn't be any more interested in this. That's the reason. And I mean, I mean, this applies to all, everyone, almost everyone. That's the reason every day the quantity of this electronic waste is increasing. So the, as far as the availability of the material is concerned, that's not an issue, not a problem at all. You can avail it as much as you want. And there are certain ways, if you follow them, you can procure that material at a very low price. In my next video, I'll tell you about that also. So, I mean, this availability is very good. And as far as the profit margin is concerned, that's 25% if you start it with small scale. And uh, I would suggest you start with four things initially. Number one, gold fingers. Gold fingers are the gold plated edges of electronics, electronic circuit boards. Number two, processors, ceramic, non-ceramic, both kinds of processors. Number three, gold plated connectors. Number four, gold plated PCBs. Most of the gold plated PCBs come from telecommunication devices. So if you start the, with these four things, you can definitely make money. And as far as the processing cost of uh, uh, these items are concerned, if we talk about processors, if you process one kilo of processor, the processing cost won't be more than two US dollars. And that's quite affordable. And the chemicals used in the process is very ordinary. They're available everywhere. So, and, and, and I would say, don't start everything at one time. Like, like don't process motherboards. It's a very important thing I'm telling you. RAMs, hard drive, logic cards, because then it will be too complex. You can start it. You will start it, but at a later stage, say after a year. What you can do is, if you happen to get all kinds, I mean a mixed, mixed material, so you sort out these four things from them. And you can sell the rest to either to a recycler or if you want to store it with you also, you have the capacity to store it, then you keep it till you set up a small e-waste facility. But initially, you, you should start with four things, as I have said, as I've told you earlier also, uh, and I would like to repeat it once again, uh, processors, number two, gold-plated connectors, number three gold fingers and number four gold plated PCBs. And the best thing about uh, this business is that you can start it with a very little investment and 
you can do it part time you can do it full time and uh, i would uh, like you to give me your comments if i mean your comments are positive i'll definitely come to you with another video in that video i'll tell you how to set up a small e waste facility and uh, how you can make more money from a uh, lot of items that are not actually not mentioned uh, on the internet the articles that we find because i have uh, been surfing net for a very long time uh, i give you a small example of that people say that they recover uh, what do you call palladium palladium and silver from mlccs monolithic ceramic capacitors but i haven't heard anyone say that they you recover gold also from them and sometimes platinum also the fact of the matter is that if you process mlccs you recover gold silver palladium and sometimes platinum also from We will talk about this in our next video till then goodbye